Hello guys, welcome back. Um, this video we will continue with uh, uh, building like I mean cryptography and stuff like that. Um, this this part we will look at actually encrypting um, a very uh, simple test file using the um, the AES or all the advanced encryption standard in C sharp. So obviously. Um, uh, this um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put an um, example of what we, we want to do so here I've got I mean, I've got my for like my documents folder uh, what we do is we add a new um, just a simple test document and uh, we can name it um, test one or test two whatever so here um, what we do is we actually edit it um, okay we say this is my test test file right stay tuned okay so just simple stuff we save it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a, the example that I've created here so we can actually so as you can see we've got our test one here so now I'm running it so this is a very simple WPF application that I've actually created and here what we do is we grab the file um, that I've created is in, in document test one as we can see so once I grab it as you can see this the test we displayed what is inside the test here and of course this is the, the link right so what we do next is we actually encrypt it and encrypt the file so as you can see once we encrypt the file we get the I mean this is the cipher test so once we go to that folder that so as you can see it's test one dot aes now we've actually changed the link dot test to dot aes so with this obviously there is a different link to our encryption so as you can see it's an aes file so we can actually make the link whatever we want to make here so um this is the part basically that we would be doing now on the next part we will look at obviously decrypting it and changing it back to the test dot test one dot, dot, um, dot test so let's get into the code now so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna remove this bit delete this bit and then inside here I'll be, I've, um, I'm just gonna add one um, project obviously that is a uh, WPF application and of course it's a new project so I'm just gonna pause it and while I add it so here you, you just choose whatever name that you want it's not necessary I mean so I'll just call it YouTube AES or not AES whatever so this is what we have now of course we've got a WPF opened so I'm just gonna make it like 50% or whatever 66% okay that's fine so I, I'll make the grid I, uh, I would say I'll make the background yeah so now we come inside a grid right so I'm just gonna do drag and drop so first you get a button you just enlarge it a little bit and the content will be select so this would be like the select um, 
and then a text box. We have a text box. So our text box two will be. We're not gonna emphasize too much on the design since this is not a design this is not for a design purpose so as you can see <clears throat> now we can even make the background different right just to show so as you can see we've got our select st stuff completed so we can put um another thing test black so we have our test black so we can just open it a little bit we can set up background to something different And we will give it a name. And we can say file test. We can make another test black. We can say encrypted test so what we do is we move we move this bit we move it to the here yeah. so um, one more thing we just push this ones down a bit Okay, so we add a label. So we can say Test to encrypt or whatever, and we can say content horizontal content alignment, say left, and then what we do is we just push it here, we open it a bit. So content to encrypt. So we can move it somewhat, and then we can say font size as well. We just make it a little bit bigger. Now foreground. We just copy this, paste it, and we move it here. Then we can say encrypted file. So, as we can see, they are pretty, pretty straightforward and encrypted. So the next bit is, of course, we go inside the code be code behind. So we grab the click uh, um, event. So here, this is what we do. We say um, open dialog. OP. Uh, we get the new instance. So OP dot default extension this will be we just gonna make it test our test file so 
we can say a boolean result is equal to op.show dialog then we say if result dot has value and we can say file test so you just check it first file name this one this bit so give it a name give it file name test so we come back here so we say da, 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 da. file name test is equal to op dot file name and then um, we say using um, screen reader XR is equal to new screen reader and then we pass uh, op dot file name and we say file test dot test is equal to sl dot read to end so this is what we have so far um, So now we've got it, we've got it running. So we just wait. So this is what we've actually got so far. We go ahead and click on the select to see what comes out of it. Of course. So right now, as you can see, we're able to open the dialog. So this is our test one. So we open it. So as you can see, we've got our test data here now. So on the next bit is of course is to have a little button here just to say encrypt file and then we'll, that we handle the event so we just stop it and then what we do next is of course we add a new button So what we say is encrypt file. So this button will handle the encrypt file side. So if this is actually clicked, this is what we want to do. Yeah, so we will actually handle the, the um, actually before we, we actually get this event, there's something that we have to do because we don't have a name for it so it will be a little bit so this is what first we just call this encrypt button then we can 
All right, so this is where we have now. So the next bit, of course, is is to get into the code. So the first bit is our is our byte array, and this will be our salt, and it will be equal to generate salt, and this will be a private method that we will just create straight away. So we create the, the method that returns an array, a byte array. So what we do is we just implement it straight away. So we implement a method here now. And we have a byte array, which is our data. It's equal to a new byte. We initialize it with 32. So we have our using statement here now. So using um, the RNG, RNG crypto service provider, so we call it RNG, is equal to a new instance of our RNG, RNG. So inside our using statement, we put in a for loop in, a for loop. int i is equal to zero and while i is less than 10 i plus plus so this is the logic that we will use so what we do is rng that get bytes so we pass in our data then return Our data so that's all we do for that generate salt so we come back to the the click function so the, the next bit of course we have a file stream so our FS is a new instance of course of our file stream then inside it what we do is we pass um, our file name dot test so basically what we do is we actually initialize a variable here this will make it cleaner we initialize um, um, a variable uh, just because it um, our local link is equal to file name test dot test dot split so we split we remove the, the, the dot test element from it so we take the, the first element then we add dot aes so here we say local link and our file mode open or create sorry so the next bit of course is a uh, here this is what we would do actually we come to the we add a constructor here and of course it's a private string and we call it password we initialize it password 2123 so so here we call go back to this bit here fine so we say um, a byte array password bytes is equal to encoding dot unicode dot get bytes so we pass in a password so the next bit is um, regender 
Rejoinder managed AES is equal to a new instance of then um, AES dot um, the key size so we're here we set the key size is it uh, is equal to like 256 and AES that um, we set our block size this will be 128 and we set our AES dot padding and it's a padding mode dot PKC S7 so we have a new variable called key and this will be a new instance of RFC RFC 2898 derived bias so we've passed in our password bytes our, our salt and um, a number of iterations in this case we make it 50 grand so as we can see here we're almost done in terms of encrypting it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from here and continue straight away on the next part so that everything will be just nice and concise if you haven't subscribed to the channel I suggest you do please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos thanks for your time and bye bye